I used to believe that mastery was a distant goal, something that only the most talented and dedicated people could achieve. I thought I needed to spend years, if not decades, studying and practicing to become truly good at something. But then I discovered micromastery and everything changed. Welcome to my review of micromastery, learn small, learn fast, and unlock your potential for success by Robert Twigger. This book has been a game changer for me in many ways and I'm so excited to share my thoughts with you today. In this book, Robert Twigger presents a new way of thinking about mastery, one that is achievable, practical, and most importantly, attainable by anyone. He argues that it's not about becoming an expert in one thing, but rather, mastering many small skills that can add up to make a big impact in your life. The idea of micromastery resonated with me on a personal level because I've always been a person who likes to learn new things, but I often struggle with motivation and focus. So, whether you're looking to improve your career, personal life, or simply want to try something new, Micromastery is a book that can help you achieve your goals. 1. Break down complex skills into smaller, manageable components and focus on mastering each one before moving on to the next. In order to master a complex skill, it is important to break it down into smaller, more manageable components. This makes it easier to focus on and master each component, one at a time, rather than feeling overwhelmed by the complexity of the entire skill. This approach also allows you to build a solid foundation of knowledge and mastery in each component, which in turn will make it easier to integrate and master the full skill. For example, if you want to master the skill of playing the piano, you would first focus on mastering individual notes and chords. Once you have mastered these basic components, you can then move on to playing simple songs and eventually more complex pieces. This step-by-step -step approach makes the process of mastery less intimidating and more manageable, and ultimately leads to greater success and mastery. 2. Practice, repetition and persistence are key to mastery, don't be afraid to put in the time and effort to get better. The key to mastering any skill is practice, repetition, and persistence. It takes time and effort to get better, but the results are worth it. To master a skill, you must be willing to put in the time and effort to practice, even if it means making mistakes and facing challenges along the way. The more you practice, the more you will learn, the more you will improve, and the closer you will get to mastery. For example, if you want to master a new sport like tennis, you must be willing to spend time practicing, hitting balls, and playing matches. You will make mistakes, but through repetition and persistence, you will get better. Over time, your skills will improve and you will become a master at the sport. 3. Embrace failure and view it as an opportunity for learning and growth. Failure is a natural part of the learning and mastery process. It is a sign that you are taking risks and pushing your limits, and it provides valuable opportunities for learning and growth. Instead of viewing failure as a negative, embrace it as a valuable learning opportunity and use it as a chance to reflect on what you did wrong and what you can do better next time. For example, if you are learning a new language, you will likely make mistakes and feel frustrated at times. However, by embracing these failures and viewing them as opportunities for learning and growth, you can use them to improve your language skills and move closer to mastery. Identify and focus on your strengths, but also acknowledge and accept your limitations. 4. It is important to identify and focus on your strengths, as this will allow you to use your unique skills and talents to their fullest potential. However, it is also important to acknowledge and accept your limitations. By doing this, you can avoid feeling overwhelmed and frustrated by areas where you are not as skilled, and instead focus on your strengths and areas where you excel. For example, if you are an excellent public speaker but struggle with writing, 
you should focus on developing your speaking skills and seek out opportunities to speak in public. At the same time, you should acknowledge and accept your limitations in writing and seek out support or resources to help you improve in this area. 5. Seek out new knowledge and experiences to broaden your understanding and gain fresh perspectives. By seeking out new knowledge and experiences, you can broaden your understanding and gain fresh perspectives that will help you grow and improve. This can involve reading books and articles, attending workshops and seminars, or traveling to new places and experiencing new cultures. For example, if you want to improve your cooking skills, you could seek out new knowledge by reading cookbooks and watching cooking shows, attending cooking classes or workshops, or traveling to a different country to taste and learn about different cuisines. The more you learn about the ingredients, cooking techniques, and cultural traditions surrounding food, the more you can bring to your own cooking and add depth and creativity to your dishes. 6. Experiment and iterate, continuously improving and refining your skills through hands-on experience. Experimentation and iteration are crucial to the mastery of any skill. By trying new techniques and approaches, you can gain valuable hands-on experience that will help you refine and improve your skills over time. Don't be afraid to take risks and try new things, even if they don't work out as you expected. The process of trial and error is a powerful learning tool that can help you gain a deeper understanding of the skills you are trying to master. For example, if you are a graphic designer, you might experiment with different design software programs and techniques to see what works best for you. You might also seek out feedback from other designers and colleagues, and incorporate their insights and suggestions into your work. By continually experimenting and iterating, you can keep pushing yourself to get better and stay ahead of the curve in your field. 7. Stay open-minded and adaptable, embracing change and new ideas. In order to continue growing and improving, it is important to stay open-minded and adaptable. This means being willing to embrace change and new ideas, and being willing to pivot and adjust your approach when necessary. It also means being willing to learn from others and seek out new perspectives and experiences that can help you grow and expand your knowledge. For example, if you are a software developer, you might stay up to date on the latest technologies and programming languages. You might also seek out feedback from other developers and attend conferences and workshops to learn from experts in your field. By staying open-minded and adaptable, you can keep pushing yourself to improve and remain at the forefront of your field. 8. Develop mindfulness and eliminate distractions, improving focus and concentration. Mindfulness and the ability to eliminate distractions are critical components of mastery. By focusing your attention and eliminating distractions, you can improve your focus and concentration and get more done in less time. This can involve developing mindfulness techniques, such as meditation or deep breathing, or finding ways to eliminate distractions, such as turning off notifications or working in a quiet place. For example, if you are a writer, you might eliminate distractions by working in a quiet place, turning off your phone and notifications, and setting aside dedicated blocks of time for writing. By developing mindfulness and eliminating distractions, you can improve your focus and concentration, and get more done in less time. 9. Keep a long-term perspective, focusing on your overall purpose and goals. It is important to keep a long-term perspective and focus on your overall purpose and goals. This means setting long-term goals, breaking them down into smaller, manageable tasks, and taking consistent, focused action toward your goals. It also means being patient and persistent, even when progress is slow, and celebrating small victories along the way. For example, if you are an entrepreneur, you might set long-term goals for your business, such as reaching a certain level of revenue or expanding into new markets. 
You might then break these goals down into smaller, manageable tasks, such as reaching out to new clients or launching a new product. By keeping a long-term perspective and focusing on your overall purpose and goals, you can stay motivated and focused, and achieve greater success in the long run. 10. Collaborate with others and seek out feedback, continuously improving and growing. Finally, it is important to collaborate with others and seek out feedback to continuously improve and grow. This means working with others to share knowledge and resources, and seeking out feedback from colleagues, mentors, and experts in your field. By collaborating with others and seeking out feedback, you can gain a different perspective on your skills and identify areas for improvement, allowing you to grow and develop in new ways. For example, if you are a graphic designer, you might seek out feedback from other designers, clients, and users. You could attend workshops and design events, or join a design community, where you can share your work and receive constructive feedback from others. By seeking out feedback and collaborating with others, you can continuously improve your skills, grow as a designer, and achieve your long-term goals. Thank you for watching our video on the MicroMastery Takeaways. We hope that you found the information shared in the video to be insightful and actionable, and that you feel more confident in your ability to apply the principles of MicroMastery in your own learning journey. Remember, the key to MicroMastery is to start small, focus on the process, embrace mistakes, practice regularly, experiment and play, seek feedback, use visual aids, take notes, find a community, and celebrate success. By following these guidelines, you can develop mastery in any subject and achieve your learning goals. We believe that the micromastery approach is a valuable tool for anyone looking to improve their skills and achieve their full potential, so if you're ready to start your own micromastery journey, we encourage you to get started today. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thanks for watching.